What's up everybody? So in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Python script that clears Google browsing history. So to do that we only need one library uh, which is Psutil. I think you guys already know how to install Python libraries. It's really easy. You just use pip. Look here. Uh, pip install Psutil. It's just easy. If you have installed this Python library then we are really good to go. We can start writing some actual code to just clear Google browsing history. First we're going to import SQLite which is essentially good for, to, uh, for working with uh, databases. Then we are going to import OS and we are going to import that Psutil. If you want to delete uh, clear the Google browsing history you need to connect to the database if the browser is running in your background you cannot connect to the database your your console may say error in connecting to the database or database is lock, locked so we should make sure the Google Chrome browser is closed now let's create a function which is define uh, clear Google history and we're gonna do some really fun stuff here and let's call that function right here Google browsing history and here let's say we get a term which is of course a word from the user and let's say enter the word and the, if the user enters a word then this function runs which essentially takes this term as a parameter and we pass it here as well. Let's start actually writing this uh, function. First we need to check if the browser is running in the background or not. To do that we're gonna just write if statement if uh, chrome.exe in uh, p.name for uh, sorry for p in Psutil, that's a library we have recently installed, uh, Psutil process iteration, which essentially gives us a uh, name of the programs uh, that are running in the background. If ROM is in that list of programs, we need to just uh, force it to uh, force it to close the Google Chrome. To do that, we use o system kill um, forward slash i am chrome dot exe and we put forward slash f, which means close it, of course, by forcing it. And we're good to write the actual uh, code to clear the database. First we need to make a connection, it's just really easy, sqlite.connect. You can see that we have got the history file which is essentially the database file for keeping track of what kind of pages you have visited so far. Okay, now we need to connect to the actual database file which is in Windows of course located in this directory. C users ICER update local Google Chrome user data default and history. There is no file extension here, it's just the only file. But make sure you and here you enter your user. I mean your PC user. Then we need to define our cursor for database, which is con.cursor. Cur now let's make an ID 0 which we will use later on and we'll just say run equals true which we use for while loop. This In this while loop we're just gonna iterate through the database rows and let's make run equals false and IDs you just write it, I'll explain it later and for rows in cursor dot execute execute we're just gonna select this IDs ID 
and URL from uh, URLs where URL like uh, look if you want to just search for a term let's say hello we just don't write this write it like this if you write like this it just deletes the only role that contains hello world worked not a line which contains hello uh, if you put the word in between percentage sign it just uh, finds all hello words in any row that we encounter but we don't put hello here we just put the actual term which is which the user enters now we need to we get all rows that contain the term and we need to let's print them rows and we just take the rows ID which is rows.0 which gives you that ID of that um, term append this ID oh sorry append as a tuple the first uh, part of the tuple includes ID and the second is empty cursor execute which executes deleting function you will see right here but we don't execute it only once we execute it many times so we'll say execute many and we'll write delete uh, from URLs where ID equals to question mark and we'll say IDs this question mark is used to put the second argument here and then let's commit that connection that commit which does this action and then we're gonna close this connection close it okay we're done that's it that's all we need for um, clearing the Google browsing history let's run this program okay now in order to run that we will say just the file name we're in that directory which means we have got that file python main.py and we hit hit enter let me open up my google let me see my google browsing history and you can see here my browser or i search for baby genesis let's delete those history let's say baby and hit enter as you can see the browser has closed has been closed automatically that's great as you can see it prints out a bunch of different search queries that I have entered and deleted all of them now let's open Google you can see there is no baby here as you can see I have searched for baby no search result here so that's it guys that's how we can delete Google browsing history you can this, use this script uh, for any purpose you want as long as you know the rules <laughs> please subscribe to my channel and like this video to see more videos like this see you in the next videos bye